patience, work, discipline, practice, diligence. It's fucking hot. It's like 90 degrees in there and all the fighters are getting ready, mentally ready, physically ready. And I'm gonna show you guys what really happens because a lot of you are gonna see the outside and you guys are gonna see the fighters and you guys are gonna see them shine. But then again, you know, there's always that process in the beginning that nobody really talks about. Okay, nothing to see. It's like a maze. It's like 90 degrees and I'm freaking hot. Oh, there's Coach Tess. What's up, man? Okay. Oh, look. The fighters. The local gyms. Alright. Very chill. What's up? What's up? I know I'm just minding my business. Don't mind me. <laughs> just walking around being nosy, you know. <laughs> yeah, nobody's paying attention, so it's alright. Okay. We're just focused. There's really nothing else to see, but... They are doing their thing. Some of them have been here, I'm sure, since like 2 o'clock and it's like 4 o'clock already, so they're probably hungry, thirsty. Number 4? Uh, why don't you take uh, my blood? Yeah. Do you know how much it takes? For anyone to get in the cage, I'll tell you, a lot of balls, that's what it takes. <laughs> I know, we don't know what they're going through. I remember my first time, there was a lot of nerves, a lot of unknowns, a lot of, I better perform, a lot of thoughts, a lot of emotions around. There's no turning back. There's no running away now. I'm here for a reason. And my people are supporting me. There's people that want to see me lose. There's people that want to see me win. Here behind the scenes with my card. I'm gonna show you. But it doesn't matter because I'm here to do my thing. I worked my ass off for this. I put in all the hours, I put in all the work. So it doesn't matter what anybody says, but I'm gonna do my thing. It's not a, oh, I just trained for one month, two months, and then I'm gonna go fight, no. There's preparation, mental preparation, physical preparation. And then on top of that, you have your coach who's backing you up. So then they're putting themselves out there as much as you're putting yourself out there. There's nothing much that the coach can do anymore because at this point, they've already put in the work as much as you did. So then they're here to support you. They're here to watch you. They're here to guide you but then they can't get in the cage with you to help you win your fight. This is by far the most nervous wrecking thing a fighter could go through because we have to wait until they actually call us their name to fight. One of those things that they they have to be mentally ready for this shit. I'm gonna show you guys. Dang, this is the other. What's up, man? Yeah, nobody knows me, so I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just minding my business walking around. Hey, hey, get it, boy. Get it, get it, get it, chew. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, what's up? Okay, everyone's just chill, calm. They're probably impatient, or they're probably hungry. And just waiting to go upstairs. Here's my last opponent. What's up, girl? Ready? They're just waiting at this point. You gotta warm up the body as much as you warm up the mind, right? There you go. And sometimes when we have so much adrenaline or energy, we need to release it somehow. No more preparation. Now at this point, it's just understanding and being 100% sure of your training, trusting yourself that you're gonna perform in there, trusting yourself that you got this shit. Hey, three, two, one. Perfect, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Good work. Thank you, thank you. Almost showtime, if not showtime. I'm fucking excited. Here we go. Here we go. Mm. Okay. Look at that broadcasting crew. They're doing their thing. You know. <laughs> showtime! Showtime! saw the amount of work it took, the hours, the failures, the practices, the countless times that we failed and that we kept going and we didn't quit. all of that they're just here to watch you shine it is gold time